Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. I'm playing Skyrim on my Infinity Shield TV. How I done it? Stay tuned and I will show you how you can play Skyrim or any Steam, Origins, Blizzard or actually any PC game on your Nvidia Shield TV. Before you can enjoy playing Steam or Origin or Blizzard or any Windows games, um, I would like to show you what you need to do first. Um, all this magic works by using an app called Liquid Sky. Liquid Sky is basically play your games on any device. It's a cloud gaming service. Um, it's on their website uh, liquidsky.com is basically uh, explains to you that compatibility is right now with windows or android uh, features like your games your way you can access any of your game libraries like steam origin blizzards and mod and download the games that you already own directly to the cloud service no cost gaming etc sky storage performance and brilliant um, that's a data center, so if you live somewhere close by, um, the, the closer you live to data center, the more quality and more better game streaming will be. Because I am from UK, so mine is literally next door to London, so um, I'm getting pretty good um, streaming quality. And the pricing, um, you can go for free, pay as you go or monthly. I am at the moment trying all this service, so I chose pay as you go. And basically, it tells me that I can play as low as $33 an hour. So this is like 27 British pence per hour cost me to play. And all the rest of the shenanigans. Right, this app is not available to download directly to your Android TV, Nvidia Shield TV. So how I managed to do this is... Uh, I went to Google Play Store and I downloaded this app to my phone. So as you can see, I'm right now at play.google.com and I loaded the app Liquid Sky PC Cloud Gaming. And if I'll click on this link, it's telling me that it's not compatible with Acer, it's not compatible with my Shield TV, it's only going to work with my S8, Galaxy S8 Plus and my old um, Galaxy Note 4. So I installed this app on my Galaxy S8 Plus and then I use the app which is called APK Extractor to extract that app into a file which is called APK like for example if you're going to launch APK Extractor it's going to give you a list of apps that you are currently holding on your Android phone so let's say um, one of these apps actually are Liquid Sky so you just tap on this app and this creates an APK file, which one you can then load on your Android and on your NVIDIA Shield TV using a USB key or using an ES File Explorer with Google Drive, which I will leave a link in the down description below to my other video where I'm uh, basically sh um, showing how I send side load apps myself. It basically is any way, there is numerous ways, there's a lot of ways how you can move file from any device to NVIDIA Shield TV. I use a Google Drive function on ES File Explorer inside this app. So uh, it's up to you which way you want to go. But as, when you're going to get that app on the NVIDIA Shield TV and you install it, you will find that game or that app using a, this one, which is called Sideload Launcher. If you go on NVIDIA Shield TV in the Google Play Store and you download Sideload Launcher, in the main menu you will find this app and then it will allow you to search every single sideloaded apps on your NVIDIA Shield TV. So you just find Liquid Sky and you start that app. First, when you're going to start for the first time, it will ask you to create an account. You create an account, then it will ask you to choose uh, your subscription. Do you want to go free? Do you want to go pay as you go? Or do you want to go monthly? It's up to you. I, like I said, went for pay as you go because I wanted to test the quality of the gaming. So far, it's good. I'm considering when the pay as you go, my credits will run out. I probably will go to monthly, monthly subscription. 
and when you have everything that is you have liquid sky loaded on nvidia shield tv you have um account created and you made the purchase you can then run that app on nvidia shield tv and enjoy pc gaming on your bigger screen so you have um side loud side loaded app and um, liquid sky installed on your nvidia shield tv you have um, a created an account on liquid sky and you bought some game credits as well so when you've done all that you can go and start liquid sky on your nvidia shield tv so it's running and it goes straight away like in a portrait mode obviously because it's designed for phones and tablets what I will do next is I'll grab my Logitech keyboard, wireless Wi-Fi keyboard. And I'll basically, first time when you're going to run this, you need to log in with the account that you created. So right now, as you can see, I logged in. My nickname, I have 1,374 game credits. I have a profile, I can access profile, Sky Computer, pay, payments, billing, about, and help and log out so um, what I'll do is I'm in a home and I need to choose which virtual cloud computer I need to start do I want to go desktop Chrome Blizzard origin or Steam I would like to go to Steam and it gives me two options do I want my virtual computer or gaming computer to have two gigabytes of RAM and free uh, CPUs or do I want four gigabytes of RAM and six CPUs the difference is well obviously is faster the pro but the gamer um, basic gamer bundle will run most games as it says up there but that's gonna cost me 60 sky credits per hour so if I'm gonna game for one hour with using the top one I will use 60 sky credits of my total amount which is right now I have 1374 so um let's choose a gamer so and then go down and click launch i suggest to have a wi-fi mouse or something like this which is logic like i said a logitech i think is k k400 plus which is um, have a trackpad next to it it's very useful to navigate through all these kind of apps so what it does now it sends a signal to the servers which is the closest to me is actually in London. So, uh, well, sending a signal is asking to start a virtual computer running Steam. So what that basically means, as soon as the computer starts, will auto start the Steam application in the big picture mode. So right now, just wait and uh, see what's going to happen next. And uh, I already have my NVIDIA Shield controller ready to do some gaming so let's wait usually it takes about between two minutes and four minutes um but um when it starts there is no no problem at all most in, sometimes well what i'm saying no problem it all depends on your broadband speed because the faster broadband you have the better gaming experience you're gonna have so right now uh, it's launching it's showing me a partial um wallpaper and here we are this is my virtual computer with like a windows 10 and all the applications and i can see on the bottom left corner the steam software steam big picture gaming starts now so let's wait here we are it should start any second and it's starting as you can see the steam big picture mode so right now I can choose add um, join add and create a number account etc so what I will do now is I will click on my name and ask for my password so again that's why I said is very useful to have the keyboard and uh, the mouse so what I will do next is let's see if it's typing okay I'll come back as soon as I punch my password My password is entered, so we'll go and click login. So it's right now logging into a Steam using my account. 
And here we are, I logged into a Steam Big Picture. So I can go to a store and let's say, go and buy a, a game. Obviously everything, as you can see, is controlled using this. It's not like I'm, I'm screencasting or anything of my PC. So let's go to a library. So that's the moment I have a couple of games is Skyrim, Path of Exile and Victor Ryan. So before I start, if I go with, again, with this and go all the way to this symbol, I click on there. It's giving me options to uh, go through the settings and stuff, but most important, I would like to show you if I click on this gear icon, is I am allowing me to change um, the streaming quality. So do I want to have a Wi-Fi on or off? Do I want a Bluetooth on or off? Do you want a screen to be HD or full HD? 36, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. Let's, let's change to 30 frames per second just to make sure everything runs smooth. So that's it. It gives me at the top, it's saying my IP address. I'm in England. The data center is in London. It's 21 milliseconds delay. Go back to your Sky computer and I'm back to my Sky computer. So what I'll do now is click on Skyrim, I'll click play. And now again, that's why I have the keyboard connected because I need to go with the mouse and click on play. And that's it. I won't gonna need keyboard anymore. Right now what you're doing is running Skyrim. It's basically starting Skyrim for me. Bethesda, let's move the mouse somewhere in a corner that I don't really wanna see. Once in a while the mouse will pop in on the screen, don't know why, but just it happens, so I click continue, click yes, and is running Skyrim, it's loading the game for me. Here we are, loading screen. Just to, uh, let's put the volume a bit up. Quality, to be honest, the graphics, well, uh, okay, I'm not perfect, it's not super full HD 1080p at 60 frames per second, but it's playable. Um, well, I'm at the current letter level one, but it's playable, it's, it's really playable. Um, my broadband speed is not the best in the world. I'm using a TalkTalk Talk internet service provider here in UK, which at the moment my download speed is I think 18.5 and upload is 7.5 or 8.5. Well, it's not the best one in the world. If I'm downloading anything or either of any devices in the house, streaming high quality videos on YouTube or Netflix, my gaming will suffer. But at the moment, no one's doing anything on any devices. So the game quality and the cloud gaming quality should be reasonable. So uh, I'm a bit, um, well, this is this game running or loading longer than I expected for first time, usually takes a couple of seconds, well, 10 seconds or so. Before you start, obviously there was a little glitch, character just decides to walk randomly, but now, as you can see, hide, open, get the guns out, go through menu, turn right, turn left, as you can see, Wow, it just appeared for so no no reason. Uh, I think what happens is um, the controller, the right thumb controller, actually mimics a bit of um, mouse movements. That's why the mouse just appears randomly, but it's just ignoring it. So right, let's do a bit of gaming. So uh, let's revive the corpse. Okay, I missed it. And I have no mana now. Come on, Archer. Follow me. We need to um, finish this quest. So I do. A, I will do a bit of gaming. Um, as you can see, well, I can go. It's the same as you would play on an Xbox or PS3. It's 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 like I said, it's playable. Like uh, well, it's not super quality. Um, I can see a bit of like a pixelated image. Uh, it's not super high resolution like I mentioned before, but it's playable. So let's go do a bit of battling. 
There should be somewhere enemies here. Up there. Where's my mate? Come on. Attack. Come on. Here we are. Incoming. One is one shot him. Come on. Here we are. I'm raising the zombie, which will fight for me now. Yes. Increase the level. Somewhere there. Okay. Where are you? Yes. Here we are. Killed it. So, um, let's save the game. So, click save. New save. Okay. Click start. Quit. Click quit to desktop. Exit exiting the um, the Skyrim, and I'm back in um, um what's this called um Steam. And I can choose another game um, to play. I can go to a store like I mentioned before, and basically what uh, popular releases. I can go anything. I can choose any of these games and play. And this works on Nvidia Shield TV. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.